We are so thankful this year, during this pandemic year, to have a community group of friends. Most of us didn't know each other 15 months ago. And now I think it's safe to say we love each other and we help each other love Jesus. I'm so grateful for them and for that. I am thankful um, during this time of um, when people are so isolated that we had an opportunity in our community group, in our huddle, to stay connected with people, whether it was via Zoom or we chose to physically be together um, because it gave us touch points that we wouldn't have had if we had stayed isolated in our homes. And our community group has been amazing about staying connected and supporting one another during this time. And I just feel blessed to be part of their lives. So during this COVID season, it has been amazing to hear some of the stories of what God is doing internationally. Uh, one of our global partners um, has been given unprecedented access by the government um, in South Asia for their workers to go into homes to meet needs, to educate, to uh, take food, and to care for those that are struggling through this pandemic. Um, during their visits, many times they have been able to share the hope of Jesus with the people they're visiting. We have 10 of us and we have a wonderful young woman, 23 years old, who neurologists said would never walk again. And she's been with us for three years and we're watching her ride horses and walk in with her dad now. From It's an absolute miracle. I am so thankful that we're able to continue with our community groups. I feel like we are all able to share our experiences um, with all this stuff going on and we can lean into each other and just learn from each other. Yeah, the friendships that we've made in our community group are, are really important to us and we're just grateful for everything we learn uh, every week that we get to meet. And I am so grateful for the friendships that are developing and also for how we encourage one another in our walks with Jesus and um, spiritual insights we glean from one another. I'm just grateful to be a part of Woodman Valley Chapel and to be a part of the strong partnerships that, that Woodman Valley has with local ministries such as Axe Ministries, Springs Rescue, and today with Axe Ministries, just to be able to, to serve those in our community that might be struggling um, with COVID during a difficult year, and to see really the impact um, that it has on these families. And so just such a blessing during the holiday season. Being thankful in our huddles that uh, we can get together, uh, that, that there's no fear there, that they wanna come in and hear God's word and understand God's word and, and we can discuss that. That's what we're thankful for. We've been thankful for a new grandbaby that was delivered uh, healthy and, and uh, quickly and uh, been able to spend some time with her. And um, we're thankful for our huddle group and just that uh, we've each become family for those that don't have immediate family close by and that we can reach out and, and just support one another. We're thankful for everyone being uh, really healthy through all this thing. We're still meeting and uh, everybody's been real faithful. It's been great. Uh, we've just been uh, excited to see the growth in the group overall. We have seen God working in amazing ways, even during this COVID season. We were able, because of your generosity, to give away 1,380 kits for summer camp. That was amazing. We've also had family services that we started that are online each week. And we have family service kits that we deliver to your house if you sign up. We have 291 families receiving these kits each week. And that impacts 635 kids. And we hope to grow even more. I am grateful that Woodman Valley Chapel has provided me and my family the opportunity during this time to serve others to um, help those who find themselves in a place of need that they haven't been in before. Um, through our Axe Ministry, from the summer, collecting food in the parking lot and getting it distributed to families, to this morning where we're here um, handing out Thanksgiving baskets to be delivered to families. It's just been such a blessing to have a place to come and know that we can serve other people. I had a uh, mountain biking accident in early August broke my knee and spent three weeks in the hospital. And um, our community group came through in such a way that was extremely impressive. 
uh, one of our uh, members, Barry, uh, made a wheelchair ramp in our garage to make it easier for me to get up and down and out. And uh, another one of our uh, community members, Alan, you know, put a handheld shower in uh, our shower. And I was like, you know, that's a little above and beyond what you would normally see in a community group. We're not just getting together, sharing a few snacks and finger foods. Because of COVID, we really weren't sure what to expect within our student ministry this year. Um, but it has become so evident and so encouraging that student ministry has really become more than ever a refuge for our students to come and just be with one another in a safe environment, especially given the circumstances of online learning and things like that, where they just really don't get that much person-to-person -person interaction. Um, and we've actually seen a lot of growth at each of our campuses. At Rockerman High School specifically, we're up 25% over our numbers from last year. So regardless of the unprecedented times, we are so encouraged and excited about the ministry that is continuing to happen with our students. I'm most thankful for our huddle uh, this season is that we get together every Sunday morning and we get to um, be a community and um, just be there for each other, pray for one another, and uh, serve one another. I think we're most thankful for shared life. Uh, what's happened for us is Let's see, we've had a wedding, we've had a funeral, uh, we've had job loss, we've had job gain, uh, we've had folks uh, coming since June when we started, and we've just been able to share life together. We've been, able to been, we've been vulnerable, they've been vulnerable, um, and we just got to really have fellowship. And one of the really cool things is we, we work with a ministry that also works with cadets and crew, and um, we also have another family that's coming and they have they have they work with cadets too so we during the time before they all got shut down we had lots of cadets coming and just great fellowship with young people too it was, it was it's been a joy when we first agreed to be community group leaders um, we saw it as an opportunity for us to pour into others and uh, turns out the pouring in has we've been the beneficiaries of that and uh, we are so grateful and we love all of you.